be a blind girl. All right. Today I'm checking out Jeff Beck and Beth Hart. I'm listening to the song I'd Rather Go Blind. Let's get into it. Church? They look like one of those mega churches. Nobody expected this. Nobody expected th this voice to come out of her. Who was you? God, I should have known. I should have. It's the tattoo. I should have picked up on this clue. Look at this. You, you see that tattoo on her arm? Hold up. We're at 220. Let's go back a little bit. Look at that. Look at this tattoo. Let's mute it. You see this? And that's why I should have known there was more than that meets the eye. You know what I'm saying? Because you start sizing a person up as soon as you see him. But if I would have saw that tattoo, I didn't see it at first. If I would have saw that, I wouldn't have known what to expect, but I would have expected something different because her clothes just look like she got regular clothes on. You know what I mean? Like, them like mom clothes, you know? Usually the rock stars have something, you know, a little more flashy on. You just, I just didn't expect it. But then she got the sofa. I, she, the, ah! It screwed my mind up when I first heard her voice. Like, what? What? That was a whole soulful sounding thing going on. And I just was expecting like mom rock or something, you know? I'm just a little thrown off. Cause you see, I love you so much. I don't wanna watch you leave me, don't wanna watch you leave me, baby. And another thing is, or one more thing is, I just don't, I just don't want to be free, scared to be by myself. I was just, I was just sitting here thinking about your sweet kiss and your, your, your. Y'all know what I'm talking about out there. We so do. When I looked down in the glass that I held to my lips 
That's when I knew I loved you and I couldn't do without you. And I'd rather be a blind girl, baby. She's got to be from the South. This is a whole Southern woman right here. My goodness. It's just so much soul. And doesn't soul come from the South? Isn't that where souls originate? You know what I'm saying? Everybody's soul is from the South. And if you're from the South, you have even more soul. Something like that, right? Soul music comes from the South. She's got to be from the South because it's just, that, that's just all you get. This is 100% soul. her voice. Crazy. see y'all later i felt that that soul when it hits you sometimes you just gotta move a little bit you know what i'm saying you got woo just gotta let it work through your body that was insane i was not even expecting this to be good in my head i'm complaining i'm like here we go another live performance it's gonna be subpar the audio is gonna be terrible and everything was wrong and then when it came on i was like it looks like they're in a church she's wearing mom clothes you know what i'm saying all the stuff is going on in my head but, but in reality, it was really good. And, and it's the fact that she was wearing mom clothes and had a mom button, so it just nothing, that, none of that even mattered. Her voice was so good. It was so good, it was crazy. Oh man, if I was there, I probably would've passed out. I would've been shaking and stuff and just, whew. You know, say, whoa, whoa. Man, the vocal cords on that woman were insane. Homegrown from the South, eating cornbread collard greens you know what i'm saying it's just definitely that kind of voice you can only grow them that way in the south definitely wow i don't know tell me man what do you know what do you know me and my boys on the road you the go she told me boy you the go like i don't know but i don't know 